Y'all motherfuckers wanna learn how to soar through the air like this hoe? Y'all came to the right video. Let's go, look at this shit. You got the swing mod, we got the web gliding. But anyway, this isn't really to show you how to install a specific mod. This is to show you how you guys can install mods on Spider-Man, whether it's suit mods or gameplay mods. So recent guys, we recently hit 400 subscribers, so if you aren't already subscribed, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so we can keep growing, so I can give you guys more tutorials and more videos. Without further ado, let's get to it. So first things first, you want to go to your web browser and type in nexusmods.com. Once you hit view all the games, you can scroll down until you find Spider-Man, or you can type it in. For me, it's right here. At the top of the search bar, go ahead and type in modding tool. And you want to click on this one, Spider-Man PC Modding Tool. You're going to need this to actually download and install your mods. Click on Manual and hit Slow Download. It's not actually going to be slow, it's just going to take a bit to start up. Once that file is downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Select all these and select Extract All. After that's done, you'll be able to start up the SMPC tool. Now, also, next to the Next to SMPC tool, you're also going to want to download the Adding Suits to New Slots tool. So go ahead and look that up as well. Before you download that file, make sure you also download this Net Framework file and VC Redist file. VC Redist is going to ask you to restart your computer once it's downloaded, so go ahead and do that. Once you have those two installed, go ahead and download the Suit Adder tool file. Now, I already have this file downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because I have one that's already on my computer. Once that file is downloaded, go over to your files, go to your downloads, and click on this. And don't actually open it up. What you're going to go ahead and do is go back to your Marvel Spider-Man file folder. So in my case, like I did earlier, I go over to my storage and go to my program files, x86, down to Steam, down to Steam apps, common, Marvel Spider-Man remastered. Now once you get into this folder right here, where it says asset archive at the top, go ahead and go back to your downloads and files. And you're actually gonna wanna you're gonna wanna drag the suit adding tool over into this Marvel Spider-Man remastered folder. I'm not gonna do that because I already have one in there. Since so I have it installed, I'm just gonna search it up right here, and it'll be smpctool.exe. Now before you start, make sure you run it as an administrator or it will not work. Now once you start it up, you're going to see this right here. You want to select the asset. Oh my god. Well, now once you start it up, you want to go ahead and select the asset archive folder for the Spider-Man game. Now to locate your asset archive folder, go ahead and open up Steam. Now you're not going to be able to open it from here, but it'll at least tell you where it is. Now go back to the SMPC tool and select the archive folder since you now know where it is. In my case, it's going to be in my program files. I then go to Steam. Out of my Steam apps, the common, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, and there's Asset Archive. Go ahead and select Open and click Save. And now, if you did it correctly, you'll get this message right here saying Asset Archive Set. Next thing is next, you're going to want to actually download the mods that you want. So you can go over to Nexus Mods and look up Gameplay Mods or Suit Mods. Now first of all, I'm going to teach you all how you can install gameplay mods. There's two different types of files when it comes to modding this game. There's suit files and there are SMPC files, I believe. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can install the SMPC files. Now for some of the suit mods, they'll be under the suit files, but some of them will also be under the SMPC files. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys how you can install the SMPC files, which is typically what gameplay mods are under. So I personally decided to install these MCU animations, so if you want to do that, go ahead and download them right here. These are all the finishers, combat moves, air idols, and such, and my favorite, the web gliding. Now, I personally am going to also download this Spider-Verse suit, uh, the Miles hooded suit. So once you've downloaded the mods that you want, open up Spider-Man PC tool again, and you're going to actually go over here to Mod Manager to install them. Go over to your downloads, make sure you extracted all, extracted all your files so you can get to them. And I'm going to start adding them one by one. 
Now you could probably add these all together if you put the SMP dot SMPC mods together in a single folder, but I don't have it set up like that, so I'm just gonna add them one by one. Now, like I said, all the .SMPC mods are going to get installed right here. So what you want to do is select all of them, make sure they have the check in the box, and you'll select install mods to game, it'll load for a minute, and you're going to be all good to go. Now, what should you do if you have a .suit file? Now, to install that is actually pretty simple. Go over to the file. Here I have it right here. What I'm going to do is select my .suit file. And we're gonna go back into the Marvel's Spider-Man game files. So go ahead and locate that like earlier. And once you're in here, go down to where you added the suit adding file. And open up the dot suit file folder again, and you go ahead and drag that file into the suit adding tool here. I'm just gonna open it up. You're going to want to select the asset archive folder again, just like earlier. And boom, select asset archive, hit select folder. And it's going to ask you what language you're playing the game on. Go ahead and type in EN or whatever language you want. And hit enter. Now it's going to say this four times asset with same hash already exists, A5 actually. And then it's going to say suit added successfully and hit any key on your keyboard to exit it. And now you should be good to go. Now, remember again, I didn't do this yet. Make sure you hit install mods to your game on the Spider-Man PC tool. Now, once you hit install mods to your game on the SMPC tool, it's gonna say successfully installed Spider-Man mods, and you can hit okay. Now we're gonna close out of it and start up our game to see if the mods worked. And as you can see, one of my mods is already working. You can see Peter close as hell to his phone with his fingers glitched through the phone. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. And let's see if the web gliding mod is work. It sure is, see? Tap an A and instead of just pulling myself forward, I'm actually gliding. And that's pretty much all you have to do to install your mods. It's actually not that difficult. Once you get it done for the first time, it becomes pretty straightforward. Now, as you can see, the Mile Suit mod has been installed. I don't have it unlocked right now, so obviously I can't showcase it. Although I did notice that the other suit that I tried to add that should have a separate extra new slot didn't show up. And I did see a mod, I did see another file while scrolling through Nexus mods that said, I believe it was SMP C file and SMP C tool and suit adder tool compatibility, um, which said that apparently it would allow you to add new slot files while adding SMPC files. So there's a possibility you may have to download that to get it to work, to get the uh, the dot .suit files to work with the SMPC files. So if you download a suit that is a dot .suit file, you might not actually see it. So you may have to download that mod. I'll try to leave a link to it in the description. But yeah, thank you all for watching. If it did help you all out or if you all just enjoyed the video, I don't know why you really enjoyed this video in particular, it's just a tutorial. But uh, yeah, make sure I hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and yeah, your boys out. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.